Where is it? Okay, what the hell? <laughs> 4K, Lionsgate. Thank you, Lionsgate. You're welcome, Adam, from your movie Sex to everybody else. Okay? All right. Bruh, so what... Uh... <clears throat> I don't know anything about this, but based purely on the title and the first, like, few... Like, literally just this, right? This, and then this and the title is this going to be like a jordan peele ripoff is it going to be like oh we're doing you know black horror movie and it's going to have racial commentary is that is that what this is going to be well let's find out let's find out tyler perry 2.0 ah we'll see what's gonna happen we'll see what's gonna happen the blackening is a very attention-grabbing title. This little reunion I like this song. We got the whole crew back. Really, bitch? A cabin in the woods? Now let's get it all in. I feel like this is going to get copyright claimed no matter what I do with the track in the background. I don't I don't even know how often I should be pausing it. Perspective for all y'all enjoy. Barbershop and Ride Along. Okay. You still a slave to the white man? I'm gonna start calling my wife the white man, all right? Newness hit. Girls Trip. Is that a movie? <laughs> it's the anthem. Put your hands up that you shoot with. Count your but we with. don't on June teeth. Okay. Hell no. Where are you going? Look for the fuse box. What kind of house is this? So far, the, the music... And the editing in this trailer seems like it's propping up something that doesn't that isn't really offering much outside of that. Like if you're if we're just to like look at how this is shot so far and like the acting and the dialogue and like everything, like it's just it doesn't feel that exciting or interesting or special. It just really feels like kind of bland and then they have like some upbeat nature to the trailer and it's just like i don't know what are you show me show me something with the editing with the music you know show me something no no thank you the blackening jumanji what? <laughs> okay this is funny oh. Jim Crow Monopoly. shit probably runs on racism probably runs on racism that's a weird stupid line and save Morgan. What do you mean, save Morgan? <laughs> this looks not very well made. <laughs> I don't, I don't mind this in concept, but like, fuck, it's just this looks, this looks very average. Used to play, and very, very derivative. Like, what the hell? And she dies. I think we have to play the game. In your predicament, the black character is always the first to die. Oh my god. Say something new and interesting, you know? Say something new and interesting. Jordan Peele's movies are interesting. Jordan Peele's movies are very interesting, and he's not necessarily saying anything, like, incredibly new or groundbreaking, but they're presented in such a great way, and the way that the story is told also is very is very unique and fun and special. Uh, this just seems like it's... This seems like it wants to have the same sort of like critical response or maybe audience response even as something like that, but just is lacking any kind of subtlety. Um, not to say like Get Out is like extremely subtle about like the yeah, ideas right, that it's communicating. It. Not this. But like th this is just like how many <sighs> you're you're about like 20 years too late to be making the like oh black people die first in horror movies comment like it's just so old it's so old in terms of like how we've seen it in media you know the exact same points and criticisms have been made just to death at this point character is always the first to die i will spare your lives if you sacrifice the person you deem the blackest to blackest nobody should judge anybody in here bro you have two minutes to decide Shanika, she say nigga the most nigga see wait y'all can't pick me i'm gay oh clifton yeah man it's proper it's like 
This seems, this definitely feels like a uh, film festival movie that you screen for people that are like rubbing elbows with the cr cast and crew, <laughs> you know? This, this very much feels like, I think this actually was at TIFF. <laughs> I yeah this is this is a mm, man it's definitely it's trying to be something it's just not quite there you know yeah that can prove i'm not the blackest prove it i've never seen friday maybe maybe this will be fine and the trailer's just kind of bad you know i voted for trump <gasps> what? what twice Oh his that I can tell what they're trying to do with this character, but it just it feels like such a performance. And it's, it's not like um you know uh who's the fucking It's not quite like Steve Urkel levels, but like it doesn't it doesn't feel like it, it feels like they're going for that goofy nature, but the acting's just not quite there, you know? It's definitely, like, character acting for this guy, but, like, it's just... I'm not convinced by it. That can prove I'm not the blackest. Prove it! I've never seen Friday. Who does he remind me of? He reminds me of somebody very specific. He reminds me... <laughs> when he kind of, like, squints, he reminds me a bit of, um... The way he's speaking reminds me a bit of, uh, Will I Am. It, like when he's like really confused doing like educational talks about like Intel and he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. And he's like, mm, when your logo, when your logo is a good logo. I can prove I'm not the blackest. He's, he kind of talks like him and he kind of like when he squints that kind of like befuddled look. You know, it's kind of similar. Prove it. I've never seen Friday. Like he, it's funny because this guy's like clearly try. This guy's clearly trying to put on an act of being like a silly kind of like Dumbo character, but that's just like who Will I Am is in real life. <laughs> yeah, that can prove I'm not the blackest. Prove it. I've never seen Friday. I voted for Trump. <gasps> what? what? Twice. Big money, play boy, your time's up. We need a plan. Don't say it. Don't you dare. We don't say this, don't you? We have to split up. Oh. Your time has run out. It seems like a, a movie that would hit well with like people who are not tired of seeing the same like horror movie tropes over and over and over again and don't need something like to the level of Cabin in the Woods, but just kind of want something to be referencing and reiterating things that they like, maybe. Like, maybe it'll strike well with that crowd, just like, oh, yes, I understand that the things that they're saying about horror movies and race in this film, I, like, it, it just, I don't, I don't know what it's offering it much outside of that. It's time to die. There's a crazy person out here hunting us. You got Rosa Parks on your shirt, right? Would she be sitting down right now? I mean, that's exactly what she did. You can shut up. Made you look. It's like, I'm just, man, fuck. Like, it's, this, this had potential in concept. This had potential in concept. I would like to see a movie like this just made by more talented people. Maybe this is like someone's directorial debut and maybe they'll get a lot better. Maybe there's, you know, more in store for them. But right now it just feels kind of like, eh, like tired. Like it's, I'm, I'm tired of it already. This is just the trailer, you know, like, fuck. Made you look. What black women got to say to everyone else? Damn time! Oh, made you look. Oh. It feels, it feels like a mishmash of a lot of other things I've seen before, you know? fucking mishmash of like a little bit of spike lee in there you know just a little sprinkle of that and like a little bit of fucking like uh what's that fucking stupid adam wingard movie called like the arrows is like you're next and like a little bit of jumanji a little bit of fucking maybe a little bit of tyler tyler perry in there like maybe a little bit of you know, it's just, 
it's really just it it it's so not distinct and not uh special it's just very very tiring already but thank you for uploading in 4k Lionsgate. thank you maybe i'll give this movie maybe i'll buy a million tickets to this movie like ralph did with the lion king Yo, stop playing. 2019. I got a gun. Damn. Hey, That's too DMX. What are you doing? That's fun. I like that a little bit. That was a good part to have at the end of the trailer. See, that was like a... That was... Like, she was... She was fun. That was like a good sort of like acting moment. That wasn't bad. If the rest of the movie was like that, then that would be fine. I got a gun. Damn. She's good. Hey, that's too DMX. <laughs> See, like that that's a nice little like character movie. Okay, yeah. Like so maybe there's like one funny part in the movie. <laughs> All right. Cool. June sixteenth. Oh, they're doing Juneteenth. Wait, never mind. That's June nineteenth, isn't it? I don't know my shit. I'm not from the United States of America, okay? I am not Yeah, never mind. Yeah. I corrected myself before you corrected me, okay? It's it's fine. Hey guys, it's May of 2023, so here's my current $5 and up patrons. Dawn, EasyGame69, Nico Fuentes, Joel999, Riggle Moss, Speak of the Joker, Josh Jones, Gully Duffy, Sammy Newton, Orange Juice Slurper has divorced Rock and is now married to Shotaro Kaneda from groundbreaking 1988 animated film Akira, Yep Yep Yep, Caden Mack, Charisma, The Super One Player, Zachary Kane, Gilly Flower, Mandelbro, Purple Fire, Gabriel Herrera, Hoofy Doe, and Lemonade Warrior is participating in the hit video game Among Us and is considered the encroacher. Stay safe out there.